Hey, I'm Sean Martin, president and founder of Donix Snowboards. I'm super excited about AI generated art and using it to customize your snowboard. Because I'm so excited about this, I'm announcing a contest that's going to end on January 28th of 2024. The winner of this contest is going to receive a $450 Donix Snowboards gift card, and the two runner ups will receive a $200 gift card. Anybody who enters, though, will receive a $70 discount on a custom graphic for their next snowboard. I'm going to cover the details of this contest more throughout the video and at the end, so keep watching. Now, creating a personalized snowboard design has traditionally required artistic skills, familiarity with complex software, or hiring a graphic artist. AI-driven art makes it effortless and accessible to everyone. Now, I founded Donic Snowboards on the principles of generating a custom snowboard that fits you and your riding style perfectly. For years, we've offered custom graphics, but AI-generated art puts you in the driver's seat. It enables you to easily design a board that resonates with your personality without any technical skills required. Now I'm going to take you through a little tour of how this can be done. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is create an account on app.leonardo.ai. Once you get in there, you're going to have a screen that looks something like this. Um, you have image creation here, which is a method of creating images just off of a prompt. Real-time Canvas allows you to do some sketching and build images off of that. Canvas Editor allows you to make manipulations to the canvases or the images you've already created. Then below, you're going to see the feed of all the other free users. Um, and so you can kind of click on any of these images you like and you can actually learn a lot from them. So you can see what their prompt was, what their negative prompt was, uh, and the other settings they used in order to create that artwork. So you can use these as guides. You can also grab their prompt and uh, change it however you like. And I've had fantastic luck with doing that on one image. So uh, let's move on, because I don't want to take a whole lot of time on this. Let's go to image generation. And this is going to be uh, the screen where you describe what it is you want to do. Um, the other thing you want to look at is your aspect ratio down here. A snowboard is tall and skinny or short and wide. So if you want your artwork to be viewed when the board is standing on its tail, choose the narrowest width and the tallest height. If you think you might hang it on the wall, Sideways, then choose the widest width and the shortest height. That is what's going to dictate kind of the layout of your artwork and how it fits on your snowboard, along with the prompt that you provide. So I'm going to go with uh, uh, tall, narrow artwork. And um, I want to show you something real quick. If you go to news on our website, and I'll put links to this as well below this video, but you're going to see this uh, is the um, article I've just posted on our site. Now, this is talking about how to master your prompt that you're going to create. And it kind of takes it from uh, the perspective of someone like me who really doesn't know a whole lot about art. Um, and it walks you through the different things that are key to generating a good prompt. It gives you uh, an example prompt. And then for those of us who really don't know what realism is or cubism is, it gives you links to different Wikipedia pages so that you can see samples of what that looks like as well as read up on it and learn more about it and maybe decide whether you want to use that in your description. Then below that, we have artists famous for their work in various styles. And this just gives you other things you can reference in your, um, in your prompt. So same sort of deal. I'd read through this. It's going to help you a lot in understanding how to generate that prompt. So let's go back over here. 
I've actually pulled the prompt that uh, was created for this article. So the, let's see, the um, example prompt, a serene lake surrounded by autumn trees, vivid colors, all this stuff I put into a prompt. And I pasted it up here. And what I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm going to try Leonardo Diffusion XL. Let's see what that looks like. Now I've selected so it will generate two images and it's going to cost me five coins. I've got 150 coins a day. So I'll hit generate and we'll see what we get. Uh-oh, I can see we've had a problem already. If you look over here, it's changed my aspect ratio on me. I don't really know why it does that. I'm going to change this back and I am going to generate again. Okay. So that's kind of cool. Let's try one other model. And there's a whole bunch. You can actually select more over here and you can get all these different models and they have sample images generated with it, which is kind of cool. But we're going to try one more, which is, I think it was SDX.09 and we'll generate two more there. All right. So I think those are kind of cool. Um, probably not something I would put on a snowboard, but it's very colorful um, and worth exploring. So we'll probably check this one out again. Let's do one more real quick prompt and see what we get. So this is another prompt I had success with the other day. It's super simple. Uh, it's just uh, superior quality, highly detailed, red monster and realism style with a conflict and adversity theme as if it were created by an artist I don't know, actually. Um, and then I think we want to go with, where is it? Albedo Base XL. And so let's hit generate and see what we get. Okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's really kind of impressive in my opinion. Uh, let's add something to this and just see what happens. Um, with, I don't, I don't really know anything about uh, anime, but let's, let's put this in here. I'm probably, somebody's laughing at me right now, I'm sure. But let's see what happens. Well, it didn't kind of do what I expected. I am going to, I wanted this little guy in red. Uh, I wanted to see him. Let's, uh, let's grab one of these pieces of artwork here in a moment and move on. So our next thing that we want to learn how to do is... Uh, basically how to put this all together into a snowboard. Now, if you go back over to our website and you hover over shop snowboard, you're going to see this custom graphics guidance page right here. And if you, there's a whole bunch of information here that's really, really important to generate custom artwork for your board. Uh, down the bottom here are a couple of videos. There's one set up on setting up a, a Adobe Illustrator file and one setting up an Inkscape. We're going to use Inkscape today just because I, I want to encourage as many people as, as possible to engage in this and Inkscape is free. So if you're, uh, if you're really wanting to get more detail on setting something up, I would go into this Inkscape tutorial Below this, I will put the video we're currently working on. Um, so this is what Inkscape looks like. There's going to be a link in the description that will allow you to uh, open a file or find a file called Dual Template. This is a file that has three different layers on it. I'm in my layers pane over here. And each one of these layers, you've got a Napton template, a Park Twin template, and then put your artwork here. I've tried to make this as simple as I can. So if I turn off with the little eyeball, the Park Twin, you can see the Napton template. So that's a much wider board. 
Um, you can turn both of them off and there's no template visible at all. So let's turn this on um, and we're going to, we're going to put our artwork in that. So let's go back over here and I'm going to grab this file. And one thing you absolutely need to do because we are working with such a large canvas and a snowboard is go to this upscaler. So you click on this. I'm going to go to a high, I'm going to go a smooth detail because uh, I think that works with this particular artwork and it's going to cost me eight tokens, but I'm going to go upscale and it's going to increase the resolution of this Im image. <coughs> It's going to take a minute and we're going to get a little pop-up box here eventually that shows us the different versions that we have of this particular image. Okay, so now you can see that there are two versions. I want the upscaler high smooth and I can actually just copy this to my clipboard. All right, then I'm going to go over to uh, um, Inkscape. And I'm going to hit uh, Control V or Paste. And there, the artwork is in my document. So it's, it's not big enough at this point. I'm going to grab this corner. And initially, I'm going to hold Control and just drag it up. That will maintain its aspect ratio. Um, and so... I can then let go and grab and pull it around. That looks kind of cool. I mean, that works all right for a snowboard graphic, right? Um, and we can look at what it looks like in the Nafton. I'll turn off the Park Twin and the Nafton. You can kind of see what the artwork looks like there. So that is kind of, once you position it and get it where you want it, you're gonna turn off these templates and you're going to click File, Export. Uh, you're gonna select where you wanna export the file to, and then you will just push the Export button. It's gonna export the file, and on your hard drive, you should now have, where, where did that go? Oh, I forgot to label it. It's called dual template. Um, so that is the artwork that you're going to submit to us for, uh, for printing or for a contest if you're entering this contest. Okay, so uh, you got your artwork done. Um, you can, for the purposes of this contest, submit up to three images. Uh, no more, please, just three per entrant. You're going to write an email to info at donic.com with the subject 2024 Leonardo contest. You're going to put your name, your email address, uh, and anything else you want to put in there uh, for us. And then you are either going to do one of two things. You're going to hit attach and you're going to grab your file. I renamed it autumn leaves and you're going to attach that to an email. Now, if you're doing more than one uh, um, graphic submission or the file is big, which this one is pretty big, I would uh, save it to your Google drive or something similar and share that file with us because we probably won't get it if you do not. So your best bet is to uh, drop your file into a folder and share the folder in this email, or not the folder, but share the file with us. Uh, we'll grab those, we'll uh, retain them for each entrant. If you are submitting a graphic for production, uh, basically the process is the same. You can submit it to info at donic.com, obviously, it would be better if you continued with your engineering consult um, and just included it in a response to your conversation there. It makes it much, much easier for us to log it and put it in the right place. So 
Um, I believe that covers everything you need to know uh, or everything you need to know to get started. There is a vast amount that I did not cover in this. Uh, there are so many things you can do. I spent an entire week playing around with this software in order to generate about six graphics that I liked um, for myself. And what we're seeing here are obviously just the beginnings of what you can do. You can do some pretty phenomenal stuff. Um, let's see if we can find my little preview of these are the graphics I generated for my board. And most of them are generated with Leonardo. I use some other techniques for some of these other images. But you can do all sorts of really cool, amazing stuff. And I hope you have tons of fun. And I hope that uh, this opens up avenues for you to generate custom graphics for yourself and really play with it and dial it in until it's exactly what you want. So I hope to see you entering this contest. And I hope to see your artwork on a snowboard. Thank you very much for watching.